Good night, guys. <coughs> just a quick one on how I run that system, and uh, just simply for you to look at the um, one of the current um, demos, and we'll just quickly look at it. It's currently showing uh, about even. But the uh, totals in the cells is about nearly nearly double the um, drawdowns in the numbers. Uh, of course, manually you can simply look at the six twelve, and if that goes into profit, you can manually take them off. Huh? And straight away, uh, you'll reduce your um, your totals, and of course, you'll um, raise your sales. So that that's a that's a good little thing to do, uh, especially if you can see that the six are in a nice little profit here. You can uh, even manually take them off. It will reduce your totals and help you margins quite considerably. Okay. We looked at that, and we'll just quickly talk about the strategy of hedging using the same currency. And as you can see, that these are currently hedged. The beauty of this is, of course, um, you can see that the once any of these go into profit, you are, you just simply add another trade. So if the two um, long trades go into a profit. We add, add a trade. Uh, it's a balanced head, so the drawdown is about um, 1530. And as a rough guide, the uh, account is current trades are about $20 to the 1534, which is, uh, you know, it, it's getting there. I, I would prefer normally to have that drawdown at about. Uh, um, always under under the uh, profit. That's that's a good one. The uh, I'll discuss uh, the Go Trader with you in a minute. And what we do is, if these two go into profit, we add another buy. It's simple. If these two go into profit, these are buys. These two up the top uh, sells. If it goes into a profit, we add another buy to the the. the thing when the third one goes into a buy uh, into a profit we add a fourth and take the lower cost what the the one underneath off so that we end up always trying to have the hedge with a, a lower low than the current trade and the current trade will go in uh, and if that goes into profit we just add back in so it's really a matter of if the cells drop down and start to become a profit, we just start adding the cells on. Always looking at this figure here. It's a pretty simple thing. Imagine that uh, both of these suddenly went into profit. We would simply add a third one on, or we could uh, simply uh, we could add a third one straight in, and we could sit on it until the third one goes in. Say these are buys, the third one goes into a buy, we take the buy. It's very simple trading, it's relatively drawdown, is, is uh, slightly up at the moment, but I'm, I'm quite happy with that. Alright, uh, the profit is greater than the sales, these are locked in as a hedge, and uh, later on we'll reduce those, but it's, it's very easy trading. The other thing is I hope that makes it clear. You start off with one, and then finally you end up can end up with a two hedge. That's about as far as I like to go. Then just stop trading, waiting till the, the two go into profit. When they go into profit, you add a third trade. If once a third trade goes into profit, you can take that profit and leave the other two the other ones on and just add another trade in if you like uh, and that's what I do is have trading bias so when these two go into these two here go into profit 
I just add a third. If the cells drop down over and become profitable, I add a third cell. It's a simple matter of just keeping the hedge going all the time. Okay, bye for now from Brian. Ah, oh, before we go, just a quick one on the Go Trader. Um, it's currently uh, 21 and 33 so it's about um, $16 uh, $16 the current yeah the beauty of I like about this uh, one is simply this I always like to have the ratio of trades to sells that's a little high but say these three nine go into profit or the five three ones well we know what three fours and three ones are you just take the trades of those three three ones or three fours off and you find that this will drop and that, that will go up so you'll always have a nice little margin between your sales and your profit it's a little high at the moment i think it'll certainly reverse when one of these two go into sales it's pretty easy you say okay five three threes are the euro us dollar the great british pound dollar and the euro great British pound I can uh, I can just take those nine trades straight off uh, in profit of course those nine trades will add to the profit here and reduce your turnover what I generally do is turn off the, um, the three uh, simply go here to the um, export properties um, uh, sorry properties go into here and simply turn off the uh, leave the 16 off uh, I've turned the 3 1 and 3 2 uh, 3 1 and 3 4 back on and the 16 is on so all I do is turn off to false the 3 3 1 and 3 4 and let the 16 run but at any time you can just turn them all off up here and wait until they go into profit and maintain your healthy margin between your your sales and your profit the profit is for me uh, really reasonably good uh, i'm happy i'm doing little 0.01 trades and testing it out okay bye for now from brian catch you guys later I wish you could turn off these uh, signals all the time, it drives me crazy. Bye for now.